Jeep Willis Overland. Ooh. Ooh, yuck. Feel sick a little bit. Been a hard winter. Frozen, frozen ice, ice rain. Not too much snow though, so. <clears throat> Jeep Willis Overland. My, my, my focus today is on this handy little dandy Oregon chain sharpener. Back in the day, we used to have to do them by hand. And then the 30 years that I worked on the line crews, I got to take them somewhere. I got to take the Venice yard, the Bradenton yard, and the uh, Sarasota yard. Nobody wanted to handle the chainsaw. Sometimes I did it on overtime. Ugh. So I'd take care of all the chainsaws for everyone. And then when I come up here five times a year, I'd get, look at this. I'm here to check on Jethro. He's on his lunch break. Numb nuts. Look at this ladder safety. He uses a locust log. Oh, Lordy. Well, at least he tied himself off. So anyway, he called me up and said he was sorry I didn't bring that. 40 footer but I told him you moron you can climb the rest I'm afraid of heights so for me I don't want to go no further than the first floor on the ground now Jethro he's a nut job he's got one of them there tuna towers on his boat called the Pequod if you ain't never heard of the Pequod his boss Herman Melville made it famous by whaling whaling Waylon Jennings? No, Wailing. So anyway, okay, I'm, I, you know, I just hope this is the right tree we're cutting because there's a whole lot of tree there. Whoa, lordy. So I'm getting to it, this Oregon, with this Oregon shop now, <clears throat> Jeep Willis Overland, with this Ovi, Oregon shop now, Oregon shop now, I'm getting... I'm getting it all shopping up for Jethro when he gets back from his lunch break. So um, I told him just to climb up the top of that. He isn't afraid of heights. He's got, I want to say, 30-something foot. No, 40-something foot tuna tower on his Pequod. Anyway, coming to you. It is windy. The biggest thing up there he's telling me is we're pushing 45, 50-mile-an-hour winds, and that thing's rocking like crazy, but... He loves it. He used to love doing those mid-spans out on those cables. Everyone hated them when there was a mid-stand splice out there. And he'd get out there on that mid-span, and he loved every minute of it. Appalachian America. I like to call this Spruce Pine, home of the pines. See ya.